Excellent. Good morning, and thank you very much for inviting me to this event. Um, Pusimony Europe is an organization, a civil society movement that works to make central banks support a fair, democratic, and sustainable economy. But let me go straight to my point. Uh, we think the European Central Bank is facing a profound question of both its role in the economy and how it's working. As external observers, we are truly concerned that old fashioned central bank thinking and theory does not seem to be working anymore in this new world. And the COVID 19 crisis is just exacerbating uncertainty and this blinding Fed shift. Um, the ECB has failed at achieving its inflation mandate for the past six years, which really questions the robustness of the economic theory and, and, and models it relies upon. Um, so we think the strategic review offers an opportunity to explore ways of better achieving its mandate. Um, we agreed with the, uh, how Philip Lane has presented the, the price stability justification, but in our, posit, in our view, it really doesn't matter what price, uh, what price level you're targeting if you don't have the right tools to achieve that. So we think the ECB must add quality to quantity. Currently, the ECB is really using very blunt tools, such as quantitative easing, whereby the ECB injects trillions in euros in financial markets, hoping that banks will in turn do their role. But this isn't really working. Um, those programs uh, re seem rather ineffective in proportion to the size. You know, um, how does a reduction in the yields by 20 or 40 basis points, how does really matter given the, the, the gigantic size of your programs? And how about the fact that the liquidity provided by the ECB often ends up subsidizing fossil fuel companies or support share buybacks operations by multinationals and, you know, generally boosting equity prices we, to the benefit of the 1%. Is this really the best way to conduct policies? Um, so instead of creating always more money, we would really like to see the ECB looking at the quality of the financial flow that, is, that the, the ECB policies are generating directly or indirectly. And also we'd like to have a debate on, you know, is this, is this really necessary for the ECB to always walk through banks and financial institutions? Isn't there not a way for the ECB to circumvent that, to go directly to people? And, you know, I'm obviously uh, uh, referencing the, the, the idea that we have been campaigning for five years, the quantitative easing for people uh, and or helicopter money nation. And let me just end, end by saying I think it's really shocking that ECB does not seriously look at this, while the whole world is, is seriously debating in, in the media, and the ECB has not even published even one research. Okay. Uh, on this. So I think I would really like to, to, to know what the ECB is doing to, to, to look at ways to better improve the quality of the policies and uh, find a way to not rely okay. always on, on financial markets. Thank you. Many people are on the uh, call so far have emphasised why are we so dependent on intermediation through the financial system? Why don't we deal directly with the real economy? And by the way, I'm pretty sure after the global financial crisis of 08, that, that critique has, has uh, really been uh, reinforced. I think uh, we have to listen to that. I mean, I think all central banks have a basic, and a, you know, part of that is in the underlying legal framework about what kind of operations we can do. But in the end, I suppose I'm going to you know, be sympathetic to the idea that... Um, we do have to think about changing technology. We do have to think about the way the financial system itself is changing over time. Let me emphasize, however, that some of the comments, uh, please remember, uh, those of you who are, do follow the financial system, uh, it's not the case the financial system is loving the ECB. 